Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Thug Game Channel. I'm AJ Gels. Guys, how's it going? Um, I got something for you today. This is a video, uh, kind of like last week when I was doing the uh, the IGN first videos for Assassin's Creed Origins. This is something. Um, it came out. Actually, let me pop back out of here. See this on um, the 14th. Uh, this is the origins, uh, kind of the the origin of Assassin's Creed Origins. Uh, Bayek and Senu, the main uh, the character, and his eagle. Um, I thought I'd do this video um, either today or tomorrow, uh, just because Saturday's show might not either be on time or it might be on Sunday. That's all because I'm, I'm moving back down into my apartment on Sunday, um, just so by noon I probably won't be moved in, have everything set up, uh, and all that. <coughs> if you can tell there's something kind of funky going on with my voice right now, I'm not feeling too hot. Um, so if I just... Um, kind of cough a little bit, I apologize, let's just, uh, get in this video, and, uh, let's, let's learn. Ah, uh, please don't give me an ad. There we go, alright. When you create a massive open world game, all right, real quick. I know we I know we just started, but just just off the the images that we've already gotten here, I'm really liking the architectural difference in this game between. Um, and let's let's just kind of snap back here. You know, it's we kind of have this this kind of a swampish kind of look kind of area. I'm sure there's probably a better name for that, but I'm you know that's that's the best I got. Um, you know, we got that. We have these. All right, let's just, you know, kind of get this, this little bit more traditional. This kind of looked, uh, that one kind of looked like a little bit more European. I'm going to guess it's probably ancient Alexandria. That's going to be my guess, but I, again, could be 100% off. And then you have, the, you know, the shot kind of out in the desert. Um, I, I, I know those last two weren't technically architectural, but it's still, it's just the difference in environments that I've seen for this game, uh really catches my eye it looks good uh and also that music too man when you create a massive open world game like assassin's creed origins obviously the main character is the lens through which players experience the world so it was very important to us to have a main character who would fulfill a function that would be similar to what the player's gameplay experience would be We wanted him to be Egyptian in the first place because we really wanted him to, to serve as a, as a guide for players to fully understand Egypt, what Egypt was about. His path, his journey will lead to the foundation of the Assassin's Brotherhood, as we know it since Assassin's Creed 1. Also, when we created the main character, we wanted to give this flavor of travel, of journey. So it's an interesting balance between being grounded in ancient Egypt, also play with all the mysticism we have in this country. For us, we wanted to bring the feeling of the proto-assassin. We wanted him to be older, so in his uh, 30s, because we wanted to tell a kind of a different story from previous uh, Assassin's Creed. So we, we didn't want to treat once again, you know, with this young man, uh, early 20s, discovering life. We wanted and we needed a man who was already grown up, who, uh, who had an experience of life. He is the last of the Medjah. All right, see, I really like that. Um, I mean, really, if, I'm not sure... If, I, I've even I, I've, I haven't even caught this, and I've played every AC game uh, since the since the start. Uh, have we ever really played an AC game where we didn't play, you know, like a young brash kind of a hole? <laughs> I say a hole, you know. I mean, I say that lovingly, but I mean, let's let's go back in time. You know, Altair. We started. He was, you know, when he he was younger. We kind of grew with him from being that young kind of cocky asshole to the master assassin that we knew, you know, Ezio started again, very young, very brash, you know, it wasn't as prevalent in Brotherhood, uh, and then it, people like Revelations and grew with Revelations, I, again, I've stood by, it is my least favorite of all the AC games, uh, I, I, I wasn't a fan of some of the mechanics, the story didn't grab me, and I was done with Ezio by that time, in my, you know, already, I was ready to move on. <coughs> um, 
So, you know, but at least in that one, he was, but he was far older. Um, and then we had, so I guess Revelations would have been the first time. So this one, this game would be the second. What? Then we had Connor, um, Edward, Jacob. Yeah, Evie was had her own bit of, you know, kind of brashness. Oh, I'm, I'm, dead, uh, I'm forgetting Arno from Unity. But still, this is... It's gonna be interesting to see how they how they do that. I think they've been doing these younger guys trying to not only kind of tell that like coming of age story, and we can easily see that progression of the character from, like I said, you know, the kind of young hotshot to the experienced, cool headed assassin. I think it's gonna be interesting to see how they pull that off and how they advance this character um, along. And I and I also like how they're going for the as they called it the proto assassin. The this is the assassin before the Brotherhood was even formed. I I can't wait to see how all of that kind of cycles through in the story. The Medjai were an order of protectors and law keepers in ancient Egypt, going down centuries of tradition. As a Medjai, Baek comes from an ancient lineage of men and women appointed by the pharaohs. So in ancient Egyptian society, being appointed by the pharaoh is basically the same thing as being appointed by gods. It's basically a divine mandate. Magis were actually a kind of paramilitary force, police force, if you like, uh, of the old kingdom that was mandated by the pharaoh to protect him, the pharaoh, and also deliver justice for the people. So people knew them, they were uh, acknowledged, they were having the right you know, to, to deliver justice, and uh, execute the sentence. We needed somebody who knew the country already, who was respected by the, by the people, and uh, who would have access to all you know, the, 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 stra the layers of the society. So when we designed the first iteration of Bayek, we just work on silhouettes. We tried to figure out how to make him look really unique. And we were inspired by you know, different, uh, you know, tribes and uh, also people around the world because we wanted to have something very fresh. We worked on silhouette first before knowing exactly what is the bio, what is the background of bio because we didn't know yet at the beginning when we started who he was. He is from the uh, oasis of Siwa, which is a small village on the outskirts of Egypt. Being from Siwa, uh, Bayek comes from a highly traditional, highly ancient place. Bayek as a character kind of represents sort of an older way of life in, uh, in traditional Egyptian culture. This will come across in terms of Bayek's personality. We wanted a character with Bayek that was uh, able to express a wide range of emotions. And, and so he's a, he's a pretty intense guy, he's a straight guy, uh, there is a, he's not malicious, you know, uh, he's smart, but he can be extremely, you know, um, intense in his reactions. So the same way, you know, he will uh, laugh uh, with kids, uh, he will react quite harshly, you know, with bad people that, uh, that do wrongs to, to the people he, care, he cares about, you know, uh, or he loves. Silence! And you, step back, Sahedi! Oui. Do not threaten me, Neb. I am a Magi. If the boy speaks the truth, I will find your gold sorbex. Give me... <coughs> mm, sorry about that. Um, I had a thought here. In one second. It's back. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of people complaining about the, the facial animations and all that, and... Um, at least say complaining. A lot of people have been just expressing a lot of concern over this because uh, the last couple AC videos that I've done, it, you know, everything it keeps saying the game's still a work in progress. I mean, the game's still out in what October or late October. Um, so until the game has gone gold, I wouldn't be too worried about it um, because I mean, it, I I will give I will agree with people. It looks pretty bad. Um, it, it looks it looks pretty bad. Um, you know, I have faith in Ubisoft that it's not going to be that bad come release. Again, I, for so, certain facial animations, I, for me, aren't 100% make or break. Again, I go back to Horizon Zero Dawn. That game, phenomenal game, looked beautiful. The facial animations were 
not garbage, but it, again, it looked they just looked weird, if you ask me. Uh, or when you looked at them closely. <coughs> um, which I, I'm going to guess at worst, that's what we're in for. It's going to be one of those that you kind of look at and you chuckle at, but it's not going to be a make or break, or it's going to be as bad as we're seeing in these videos. He is a character, however, that we wanted to infuse with a really large dynamic range in terms of his personality. So sure, when he's confronted by injustice, he is going to treat that injustice with a, uh, an iron fist, if you will. Now the thing about this time, uh, this is a game set in antiquity. Antiquity is a much more brutal and much more harsh way of life than what would be familiar to you or I today. This is where problem solves, you know, uh, uh, most of the time directly in the field, you know, and so you don't go in front of a judge, you, uh, you resolve the situation like that. So Bayek, in order to, to help people, uh, needed to be trained. And this is what Mejais were actually, they were trained from birth. Uh, uh, to be Magi's, to be this kind of paramilitary force that would help people. And uh, for us this was important so that Bayek uh, would actually be able to fight with many different weapons uh, in many different situations. So as we designed Bayek, we were very inspired by the Mongolian hunters, you know, using the, the golden eagle uh, to hunt and to, 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 to scout ahead of them. So in Assassin's Creed Origins, we mock up a lot of characters, but also animals like camels. Uh, but in the case of the eagle, one single person animated everything by hand. We all handcrafted the eagle, every single feather is animated by hand. So Senu, uh, the pet eagle of Bayek, uh, uh, she's uh, his friend. and. Um, it's a really important element of the game. First, it gives uh, Bayek a companion. It gives uh, the players a presence. They're not alone in this vast world. Second, from a gameplay perspective, it really allows us to give players uh, a totally new and different perspective on the world. With this eagle, with Senu, you're now able to understand it better at, at, a, at a bigger range. For example, fast traveling, just by using Senu, flying, looking at the location that you've already uh, uh, discovered, you can fast travel directly, you know, uh, without exiting the 3D world, which for us was really important to improve once again the fluidity uh, of, the, of the global experience. For me, working on a game that's set in ancient Egypt is quite literally, in many ways, a childhood dream come true. And what I'm hoping for players who are going to try uh, Assassin's Creed Origins is that they're going to find some of the same passion that I found in developing this title, uh, some of the, the, the secrets and the sights and sounds and the, uh, the amazing scale brought to life. I think we created such a diverse world that you want to spend time here, you want to explore, you want to hunt, uh, you want to discover the sunrise from the highest mountains. When I'm, when I'm spending just time in the open world of AC Origins, I, I really, really love that place. This game has been uh, a hell of a ride. We're really happy about the result, and I really hope players uh, will like it too. If you're looking for more Assassin's Creed Origins, you can check out 18 minutes of SideQuest gameplay right now, and be sure. All right, real quick, just some kind of some kind of closing thoughts here for this uh, for this video. This one's been uh, fairly short for my my usual stuff. <coughs> um, I, I'm, I mean, there, there's some stuff that I'm not going to know until I actually get my hands on the game and, and, and play it. Uh, one thing that I am really looking forward to, I'm, I'm really looking forward to actually moving around in the open world. I mean, I'm sure they're going to do a good job. I've loved, I, I, I'm, I mean, look, if you think I'm kind of here, you know, uh, stroking Ubisoft's ego a little bit, uh, great. I, I'm, I'm very open with this. I am a massive Assassin's Creed fan. I'm a massive Ubisoft fan. So I, Note that I have some bias here, um, but I am very excited to get my hands on this game, uh, get into this open world because I because I've seen the size of the map just it, you know looking at the map, um, and it looks massive. But my question is, how is that? How does it feel going from area to area? Is it how how does it feel going like to area and area like on foot and actually in the game world? I'm very interested to see that. See uh, all the animals, the hunting, how all the gameplay mechanics, how the RPG mechanics work. Um, there's tons of stuff in here that I that I I'm super hopeful for. This really does look like um, 
I don't want to say a return to form for Assassin's Creed because I don't think that's technically right. I, I think this is a uh, mostly because this looks like this is this is a new evolution in Assassin's Creed. But I also think this looks like the best evolution that I've ever seen um, in, a, in an Assassin's Creed game. I, I, I think there's just enough there that you can see that it's that it's an AC game. Yet it, 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 but the combat looks so different. And it looks like such a much more mature and developed game um, <clears throat> from what we've seen in the past. I'm, I'm, I'm very excited for it. Um, Again, I, I, I don't. There, there, I, there's just this game's giving off some sort of vibe that I, I just, I, I can't tell what it is. That's just, it, it's, it's stroking that kind of sixth sense in my brain that says this is gonna be good. I, I really hope that it's not lying to me and that's not being overhyped. Uh, I'm not trying to hype it or anything. It's just it, the game looks damn cool. Um, I just had a thought right there. Again, it, this keeps happening. I, I had a thought and it's, and it's gone. Mm, yeah, it's not coming back to me. Um, you know, I'll, 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 there's one thing though that's not been answered to me that I that I'm very very curious of in this game, and that is I've seen trailers and I've seen just little snippets here and there that there's some sort of mystical something. It was um, it, it it was probably a two second thing in a in a sizzle trailer, um, sizzle reel, whatever you want to call it. Um, that showed Bayek fighting a giant snake. I want to know what the hell's up with that. If we're going to be dealing with like Egyptian gods or Egyptian something like that, you know, I'm curious. Um, I mean, last I checked, there weren't like people sized giant snakes in real life. And if there are, holy shit, that's terrifying. But, <laughs> um, I remember what I want, what I, what I wanted to say really I was all, everybody for a long time has been saying, go to ancient Egypt, go to ancient Egypt, ancient Egypt. And I've been sitting here going, I just always thinking, nah, I don't think I'd like that. I don't think that'd be as good, but you know what? I'm I, again, I, this is one of those times I got to admit, yeah, I was wrong. This game looks awesome. Um, I guess it kind of comes down. I don't know. I mostly I've been fighting ancient Egypt just because I want to, I want a game in feudal Japan and I want to play as ninja, but that's about it. <laughs> That's about it. Um, all right, guys, let's stop rambling. I uh, just want to say thanks so much for watching. As always, uh, Facebook, Twitter, the website, minds.com. Links all that stuff down in the description below. Uh, like, comment. If you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned uh, for more videos next time. Um, like I said, uh, the weekly show should be back um, on a normal schedule. Um, I'm, I'm trying to think how I want to say this. This week's show will be off schedule it's been happening a lot recently. I apologize. I, I'm getting back to a regular schedule come next week. Not the, So not this upcoming Saturday, but the Saturday after that. I will be hopefully back on my regular schedule. I'll be back in my apartment, you know, with a, all that kind of stuff. So uh, I thank anybody who's been watching consistently. Thank you for being patient with me. And... Um, I hope you enjoy my content. So, there we go. So, until next time, guys, I'm AJ Gales. I'm the Game Channel. Thanks for watching. I'm out.